Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, like I said, I was going to do a deck profile. Um, I decided just not to wait on him. I'll just tell you what I'm going to change. It's not that many cards. It's only like two cards. I'm even going to change from this list. But, of course, uh, we'll just start it off with the Pokemon right now. So, we're playing a four line of the rock ref which is the sun and moon promo number six with the tackle and rock throw only because the new guardians rising one it doesn't really have any attacks in case you actually have to attack with this so yeah there's those course uh, you probably already know what's coming next it is a well it's four but it's two and two of the midnight and the midday form uh, why I did this is because the midnight ones attack uh, blood or ability bloodthirsty eyes like a built-in Lysander so you could use that and then um, the Hold on, let me focus it. The Claw Slash for 110 damage for your 3 energies. When it's GX attack, Dangerous Rogue GX does 50 for each bench Pokemon your opponent has. So you can hit for a maximum of 250 with that one. So, of course, it'll be situational in case they have a full bench. Then you could definitely take out a knockout with this. And because it has a built-in Lysander effect, you could have one in the active and then play the second one and Lysander up wherever think you think that using the GX attack would be most effective against. That is, if they have a full bench. If they're playing it smart and they're not trying to load up the bench, you'd probably want to hit with the midday form, which has the attacks crunch for 30 damage. For a fighting and a colorless. And you get to discard an energy from your opponent's active. Uh, there are some decks that run ba based solely on this of energy denial. So that they can't power up their active. And then with hammers and other stuff. They can't uh, power up their bench either. But in this one we're just. We're going to. It's mainly going to be trying to hit for high numbers so Accelerock it does 10 more damage than the um, Claw Slash because this one does 120 for 3 energies and then for 3 energies as well you could do Lycan Fang GX for 200 damage um, based on this I mean, this is just base stats, but we're going to try to pump up the attack with other items. So, yeah. So, next in the lineup is the Zygarde X, just because it's good. It's a basic attacker in case that if they're playing something like Glaceon or something that you can't attack using Evolution Pokemon, this could work too. Plus, I mean, it does it does pretty decent. I mean, it does less damage than this, but uh, you could definitely make it work. Like I said, and then we're uh, as of right now. I'm just running one, but I think maybe I might run it up to two. But we are using the uh, car bank with the energy keeper ability, just in case, because a lot of decks tend to be running. Uh, energy denial stuff so this is just a way to help keep your energies on your Pokemon I don't run I'm not running the break um, I'm thinking about adding it but the only thing is like you're taking out cart you're taking out cards that you could other cards that you could use just so that you could get your energies back and I mean you could just run um, special charge or something like that. So that's it for the Pokemon lines.
So next will be the supporters. Hold on a second. There we go. So, of course, we got three ends just because it's really good. And then we have three sycamore. I mean, you don't want to end every time, but I mean, if, let's say if you're having a bad game, this will definitely help you out. But if you're having a good game, you you most likely will gravitate to the sycamore. And then, I mean, a lot of people will probably say that this is too many, but we're going to play three lily, just because you kind of want to get this turn one, just because if you use it turn one, you could draw up to eight cards instead of the usual six. Or up to eight cards. So, I mean, this is pretty good. And then we got... Sorry about that, guys. Um, I ran out of storage on my uh, memory card. My bad. <laughs> um... But yeah, I was saying, you definitely want to get Lily turn one. That's pretty good. And then, of course, we have Lysander. I mean, we have two of the Midnights. So, I mean, you don't really need that many. I mean, you, people usually run three Lysander anyways. Or whatever, or two. So, just one of those. Run a Professor Kakui. Just because hit for 10 more damage and draw two cards. Um, usually you're just trying to use this to get to at least get more damage. Maybe for a knockout. But usually you might want to um, toss these away and then just VS Seeker for them later. We have a Delinquent just because... Um, it's good for disruption and if your opponent has a stadium up and you don't have a stadium in hand this could really come in handy you discard the stadium and your opponent has to discard three of their hand three cards in their hand uh, sometimes if they only have three cards you play this you kill their hand so then they're just basically hoping to top deck something to bring them back but yeah then we're running one Brock's Grid just because getting six Pokemon and basic energy cards um, just works. Uh, actually, I might switch this out for a Super Rod now that I think of it because you can't get Lycan Rock back with that. So we might be s switching that out. But as of right now, that's what's in the deck. Alright. So there's that's the supporters. Next, we'll go to item cards. So, like I said... Uh, we're going to run three VS Seekers just because um, we run few of a couple supporter cards and you might want to use them again later on like Kakui or uh, the Lysander or Delinquent either. So, um, so yeah, you want to play those just because uh, you usually want to power up your Pokemon on your bench. Max Elixir is a good card. Unless you look at the... I mean, you guys probably know what it is by now, but it's look at the top six cards of your deck. If there's a basic energy, you could uh, attach it to one of your basic Pokemon. Um, it's really situational because kind of really don't want to keep your uh, Rock Ruffs on the bench unevolved because 
they're easy targets for knockouts for Lysander. Um, but since it only works for basics, you kind of have to uh, load up the rock roughs on the bench or a Zygarde. So that's what it really helps out with. Then we're running four trainers mail just because we got a lot of uh, items and supporter cards in the deck. So sometimes you just want to get the one that you really need at the moment. So this just helps you search for the top four and you pick one to put in your hand and shuffle the rest. Um, we got two choice bands. Um... Deciding whether or not to add a third one, that could be a possibility. But it's really good because it does uh, 30 damage to your 30 additional damage to your opponent's active GX or EX. And since um, competitive usually runs heavy on the EXs and GXs, it really helps. But with the field blower that also came in Guardians Rising. It's kind of iffy because, I mean, now you're going to have to make sure that when you attach these, you're going to use them right away and not just keep them on because they'll probably get taken off. Running two Ultra Balls just because um, you might want to look for a Lycan Rock or something like that. Or maybe you just want to... Um, Discard some of the stuff in your hand or maybe lighten up your deck maybe get all your basics and stuff out so then you could get the stuff that you really need like energy cards or items or supporter cards like that We got one tra uh, ton map just because I mean if you're gonna be hitting for knockouts you might as well know what you have in your prizes just in case if you, like, in case there's stuff that you really need in the prizes, this will help you be able to pick which what stuff you really want to get when you get a KO. Um, since I'm not running the Carbonic Break, I have one special charge right now, but probably um, add a couple more just because it's, Kind of necessary to get the uh, strong energies that we're going to be running in this deck back. Since Enhance Hammer is back in standard with the Guardians Rising print. And also stuff like um, the Lapras GX which I believe... Disc no, no. Um, but there are Pokemon that run stuff... To discard energy kind of like maybe if we faced a mirror match or if somebody is playing the uh, energy denial version of Lycanroc you definitely have to get your strong energies back just because they're kind of necessary to help pump up uh, numbers a little bit more then we're running to switch because you never want to and you never want them to Lysander up something that you don't have Powered up and ready to go. You don't want to get stuck in. You don't want them to be stuck in the active. And like. Facing something like Umbreon or something. Where they they keep attacking. They'll attack the Pokemon in the front. But still keep doing damage to all your Pokemon. In the, and your bench. So definitely you just need that. To be able to switch out. And hit for for attacks or if you got like the um the midnight lycan rock and you just evolved it but it's powered up and you want to go for the death rogue gx definitely helps to be able to get it into your active next we have the stadium cards uh these are cards that i said i was going to change I have three Scorched Earth just to kind of help with draw support a little bit more. That's why I kind of ran the uh, the Brock Grit originally. Since I was thinking I'm probably going to be discarding 
fighting energy, so I'll probably need to get him back later. But I think I might change out two of these for the Brooklet Hill. Just because, um... Brooklet Hill lets you search for a fighting Pokemon, so it would kind of help you find the Lycanroc GXs instead of having to, like, Ultra Ball for them, stuff like that. But I think maybe I also might play a Parallel City or a, uh, yeah, a Parallel City just in case we play something like Mega Work. Mega Ray or something that needs a lot of Pokemon on their bench. And that's that's exactly why also you'd want to run the midnight or the uh, midday form just in case you don't want to because that would help your opponent because then you wouldn't be able to death rogue for a lot of damage. And then we're to the energy part. So we're playing four strong energies. Just because it boosts your fighting attacks by um, 20 damage. So, I mean, if you attach this to, like, something like the Midnight, or the Midday Lycanroc. Say you had, like, one attached. There's 140 damage. If you put the Choice Man, that's 170 damage. Just with the Acceleroc. And you wouldn't have to be discarding energy like in the Lycan Fang GX attack. You have two of them on this. On this, now you are hitting for 190. So I mean, like, really, you could power up, but I don't see more than one strong energy is necessary at a time. Just because uh, 170, you'd basically be able to two shot anything, event like. So now, so yeah, we're running the four strong energies, and then we're running, we're running 11 of the fighting energy, only because you want to be able to hit your max elixirs, and like I said, originally I wanted to play the Scorched Earth, so I thought, I mean, if I'm going to be having to discard energies, might as well have a few of it. But that's it for this deck. Like I said, I might change, I might change the Brock Grip for a um, Super Rod only so I could get Lycanroc GX back from the discard, as well as change the... Uh, some of the score shares for the Brooklet Hill and maybe a parallel city. But yeah, I, that's basically this deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, tell me your thoughts. I'd like to hear your thoughts about the deck or if you play or if you play a Lycan Rock deck, maybe. If you play something similar to this, how how do you think it's gone so far? Uh, I definitely want to go to, like, League or something. I've never gone, <laughs> but uh, I definitely want to go and try this out and maybe see how it works. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And as always, this is Gengar Prime. Till next time.